What's up, what's up, y'all? It's Bezo, Bezo803 on all that social media. This is my co-host right now. Ben Mikey, man. You see what it is? Big Motion. Oh, yeah. Big Motion Podcast is another segment of our small business spotlight. We got Miss Angelica in the building. How you doing? Let's clap it up real quick for Miss Angelica. How you doing? I am great. All right. Good to see you. This is my classmate right here. Oh, five. Oh, five. You know. All right. right. You was at homecoming? (laughs) Um, I stopped by for a little while. Oh, my goodness. No, but y'all stiffed me because me and my husband, we went to the hut. You was publicizing the hut. Nobody showed up. I did not. I publicized it? Yes, you did. Dang. Well, I was telling people, I said, I'm not DJing at the hut, (laughs) but the hut is what I know is open. So I, right, I'm sorry about right, that. My right. bad, my Y'all bad. Y'all left me hanging. But we that's definitely right. was looking for it because was, everybody was there, but certain people we didn't see. Yeah. Um, we had such a ball out there, man. I just went home. I was like, I know it. man, we had a ball. But next year is coming. Oh, yeah. And, and it's I'm good to see you, see you now. Yeah. So um, we're going to talk about your business. What's the name of You got two businesses, right? What's the mm-hmm. name of both of your businesses? So um, the first business that I started back in 2020 is um, a photography business. It's mm-hmm. called uh, Taylor Made Images. Mm. Um, it started out real quick and easy. I've always liked to take pictures. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I bought a camera mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, well, first my sister asked me to take her graduation pictures, college yeah. graduation pictures right. with the cell phone. And the way I edited them, I was like, dang, these look professional. <laughs> I, mean, I might need to do a little something with this. What so, kind of phone was it? Pardon me. What kind of phone was it? Was it was like an iPhone. It was a That's joke. enough right there. Yeah. iPhone good. wins yeah. again. <laughs> I don't know what, what you know. I'm an Android hater. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. iPhone all day. Well, my, no offense. Oh, no, really? no offense, yeah. Ben, Mike. Really? No offense, Ben. No, no, no offense, Ben, yeah, Mike. Okay. So, so let's let's carry on. Um, So you, 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 your, your niece, you said. My sister. Your sister asked you to, yeah. you know, shoot a graduation pictures. Yeah. Let's start from, let's go, go ahead from there. Yeah, so um, they look professional. I posted them on Facebook. Everybody was like, oh, man, these are really good. Um, so I did a little poll. I said, well, if I decided to, you know, start a photography business, how many people would support, you know, Mm. how many people would be interested in letting me shoot their photos? And I got a lot of responses. I said, so let me buy a camera. Mm, I took some, uh, shots of my son and different things. You know, when you're trying to start something, you got to use people that you know to get it out there. Yeah, definitely. You know, you got to start from ground level. And then once you put it out, I'm telling you, social media is a blessing. Oh, I love social media. <laughs> social I don't know what they be talking about. Yeah, social media. I love it. It's all in how you handle it. Yeah, of you, course. You of control course. how you of, deal of, with of it. Of course. You know, you can block all that other stuff out. Mm-hmm. But social media was such a blessing. It helped me get the word out. And, you know, now right. I'm I'm doing it. You know, it's not something I do full time, but I love what I do. Oh, yeah. I see the beautiful pictures you've been, you know, picture, you know, posting over the years and really getting it going. So let's talk about your second business as well. Yeah. So my money maker. The money maker. (laughs) Talk that talk. Save the best for last. Yeah, it's it's, it's mortgage lending. So Mm -hmm. I work for a company called Resource Financial Services. Okay. Um, And I started this journey back in May. Mm hmm. when I got laid off from Wells Fargo, okay, they never recovered from the pandemic. Mm, okay. um, and when I, my husband and I purchased our home in 2020, um, it was such a process. Mm. I won't say it was a process. Yeah. I'll just say that. Right. Um, and I prayed and I said, God, you know, if you help us get through this, I promise you, I'll help others become homeowners. Mm. I, I want to help them navigate through these situations. So, we can kind of prevent them from going through the struggles that we went through and to kind of show them that they can accomplish things. Cause man, people thought my husband and I would never accomplish anything like that, you know, mm. um, because of the, our background and what we've gone through and things mm. like that. And so um, it was a true blessing. So I want to be a blessing to others. Cause right, I, I, right. I'm a firm believer that we're given knowledge. We're given wisdom. Right. We're given education. We're given resources, not just for ourselves, but to build up our people, our right. community. Oh, yeah. You like know, that. that's yeah. that's how we make the world better. Definitely. If you look at these other countries, I know I'm talking, but... No, talk. Yeah, oh, we like no. talk. Oh, we yeah. love talking. Yeah. Yeah. Talk is why we yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, but no, if you look at other countries like China and different places, right, mm-hmm. that um, Canada... Yeah, even. especially Canada. Yeah, <laughs> If you look out for the totality of the people, we're stronger together. If mm-hmm. all of us are strong, right. the country is strong. Right. 
But right. then you got some weak and some strong. That's just like a grade point average. Yeah. You got a bunch of bad grades. You got some good ones too. The bad grades gonna weigh it down. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, I'm following. But if we all good, oh yeah. You know, take that greed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's how so it should be. I, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, you know, I, I love you know how you're talking and, and, and definitely beautiful message. I, I'm in agreement. Me and Ben Mikey here. Um, let's let's take it all the way back as. All these great things you're doing in the community, uh, entrepreneurship, we got to understand where you came from and how you got to where you are for people that's watching. You know, I paid attention to you since school. We knew each other. Yeah. And I'm sure I'm going to learn a bunch of things from, from you today as well. But yeah. for somebody who don't know you, we want to kind of take it back real quick. So where are you from originally? I'm from here in Sumter, South okay, Carolina. Okay, Sumter, South Carolina. Yes. So what was your – well, everybody, you know, we're from the same place, but, you know, a lot of our guests – but what was your experience growing up here in Sumter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sumter was cool. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, um, Sumter was what it was. I mean, it's a, it's a great. I, I believe Sumter can be a great oh, place. Yeah. I, I mean, me too. There's Definitely. a lot of potential. Yeah. In Sumter. Yeah. Um, it's just taken. I said, man, I always said we need to form a co-op. We need to get a bunch of us. And fight against these that's people the, that's trying to block listen, these individuals. I, I think I'm glad you came started. today. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but growing up, my mom was a school teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, I, yeah. yeah, I was raised in the church by my grandmother, my mom, mm -hmm. my aunts. My you know my father wasn't around. Yeah, um, that was a little hard. But I never had to. I, I didn't never have to struggle. I yeah. never had to worry about right. the lights being cut off. Never had. Mm. My mom was a great mom. Always active. Yeah. Um, gave me what I needed, always exposed me to different things. We traveled a lot. Right, right, right. Um, so I spent a lot of summers in New York, and, mm. you know, trips to Disney where I had a good time, yeah, you know, yeah, I had a yeah. good childhood. So I, I try to trickle those experiences down to my kids. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was sheltered a lot. Mm. Um, so we had a lot of, although I was well-rounded, it was a lot of church. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a lot, a lot, a lot of church. Hey. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, he came out all right to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I had to do also, though, is I, I've always had a mind of my own. So when I went to college, um, I went to Columbia College in Columbia. Okay, big um, shot Columbia College. Yeah, all-girls school, Koalas. Mm, yeah. Talk but, that um, talk. Yeah, so I went there. I wilded out a little bit because I uh -oh. was, you, you know, I was a church girl, you know, mm, so you leave the turn house. Turn it up real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, you leave the house, <laughs> you want to go and you have fun. Yeah. Um, And so I didn't finish college the first time. Okay, okay. It took me like 13 years. I didn't get my bachelor's degree until I was married with two kids. Mm, mm. Mm. Yep. And um, I got my bachelor's degree back in January of 2019, and I just finished my master's degree in child and adolescent psychology mm. um, in October. Okay, the let's clap it up for that. Yeah. Yeah. Good time. Congratulations thank on you, that. Thank you, thank you. But, yeah, I just always, you know, stayed determined no matter where I went and what I did. Um, mm -hmm. You know, people, that's why I encourage people and don't look at their kids and if they're not necessarily meeting their expectations at that point, mm -hmm. you don't give up on them. You yeah. don't, like, Never. oh, be like, oh, they doing terrible you never know what that child's path is. Mm. So now that although I dropped out of college, I can show people, hey, just because you dropped out of college or you dropped out of yeah, school yeah. doesn't mean that you can't become mm. successful. Exactly, exactly. So, right. yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So, you know, in your family growing up, was it a lot of examples of entrepreneurship? Um, Not in my immediate family, mm -hmm. um, I would say. Um you know, kind of more in, in the broader spectrum of oh, my family. Okay, okay, okay. Um, as far as, like, uh, you know, the cousins or aunts or uncles maybe, mm -hmm. like not like grand aunts, uncles, you yeah. know, different people in the family. But um, my mom was always the type, this is my job. She still works at the same school she's For been real? working at since uh, 1989 dang. or 88. Wow. Um, 88, probably. Wow, she's wow. teaching at the same school since I was a baby. Wow. So she's one of those people um, where uh, she she gets a hold of something and then that's it. She's a safe person. Mm -hmm. And so me, I'm the polar opposite. I've just always been one um, that I follow my intuition. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I will take a risk if I feel first I pray about it, I consult God mm -hmm. um, about everything I try to. But oh, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um I'm gonna go I I'm gonna go after what I want. Mm. Yeah. So what where, where does that come from? Being that you don't you didn't have a lot of immediate entrepreneurship examples in your family because that's what entrepreneurship is you know yeah. is really having a dream creating something yes. bringing it to market so how did you what did that come from from just, you think um, intrinsically mm. i mean it was innate motivation um mm. well you know what let me tell you what's crazy people don't realize the importance of knowing who your parents are right mm. knowing your mom and your dad so when i met my i met my dad when i was about 18 mm-hmm Come to find out, he's just like me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's an entrepreneur. Yeah. He has several different businesses. My brothers, they have different businesses. They, yeah. we, yeah. you know, we're a lot alike yeah. in a lot of ways. Right. Um, so it was just amazing that I didn't grow up with them, but we have a lot of similar traits. Mm, right. That's yeah. crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So how did, how did it make you, how did it make you feel when you kind of realized like, wow, you know, we kind of, we we're, we're alike. That's where that entrepreneurship bug came from a little bit. Well, that helped me not to feel because I always felt um, different from the rest of my family. Like, mm. why I'm so different from everybody else? Everybody else all, you know, kind of cookie cutter, mm. you know, yeah. way. Yeah. But I was just always a little different, mm. and it just helped me see me. Yeah, you know, it helped me understand me a little better, um, and so. I say to all the fathers out there, I, it behooves you to be in your kids' life. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know definitely. what I'm saying? Definitely, fathers. And mothers, don't make it hard for them. <laughs> say that again, please. Say it again. Yeah. Mothers, yes. don't do what? Come on, mothers. Don't yeah. make it hard for them. Please don't. Please yes. don't. Yes. <laughs> ah. Yeah, but uh, so, so you know, you, 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 uh, how long is that Wells Fargo? I was at Wells Fargo for like four and a half years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you know, they did. You know, laid off because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What made you really jump out there after that? Because you could have just went and got another job in yeah. banking or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I know you you gave us a story beforehand, yeah, yeah, but yeah. so let me tell you how God works is so amazing. Um, I was trying to figure out a way out. Oh wow! But I was too scared. Mm, I was too scared. Made you move. So I was looking at ways to become a mortgage lender or a real estate agent. I was looking at like I was yeah. really looking for classes, looking for ways to do it. But I was too scared. I was like, "Oh, this is I'm used to this. Yeah, that, right. That's where that my mama was coming out. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you got kids. You got a family. You know. I I, I have my husband and everything. And so we we flow well together. And um, so when I um, when I got laid off from the job, I spoke with him. I talked to him about how I was feeling and what I was thinking about doing as far as, you know, the mortgage lending or real estate arena. And um, I actually um, got, you know, a job offer quickly. Mm. With, um, and the reason why I knew it was divine is because I didn't have to work, you know, after they told me that, but I was still, you know, you get, yeah. and so the last official day of employment was May 23rd. Right. Mm -hmm. How about the new job they was offering me? They said, Oh, your start date will be May 23rd. Whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So wow. I was like, okay, this gotta be right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's talk to the people about what a mortgage lender is because you know break yeah. it down you know all the way down okay you know, i might I, I might need layman's there. i'll break it all the way yeah, down abc one two, yeah three. yeah yeah got yeah you. yeah talk to the people real quick all right so i'll tell you what first of all what a mortgage lender is not a mortgage lender is not a real estate agent mm -hmm. okay what a mortgage lender does is get your information like your social security number your date of birth your address, things of that nature. And we look at your finances to get you, see how much you would qualify. If you do qualify, you know, we look at your credit, your income and see if you qualify even first to buy a home. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make sense to go to a real estate agent who just shows you homes. They're, mm -hmm. they're actually mm -hmm. um, representing the person who's selling their home um, and helping negotiate the terms, you know, mm -hmm. on the price of the house and stuff like that. 
But there's no need to do that if you don't know how much you're qualified. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, so that's what I do. I finance the homes. So mm. I give you the money. You borrow the money from my company mm-hmm. to buy your home. Then mm. you pay us back monthly. That's what your mortgage is. Mm. Okay. So that's okay. what I do. Okay. So I negotiate rates. I try to get you the best rates possible. Um, I help you know, in unique situations. Now we've just started helping people with LLCs do fix and flip loans. Do like, if you know, you want to flip houses, you buy a house for 75,000, you fix it up. We give you the money to fix it up and buy it. Mm. And you can resell it for 190,000, but you just pay us back our 75,000 or whatever, you know, Um, you know, we help with people who, you know, different investment loans, people who want to refinance their homes. Yeah. Say, for instance, if, you know, um, interest rates were high, like now, if you buy your house now, although interest rates are high, it's still better than renting. Mm-hmm. It's still better than I renting. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. Because some people were saying, I was, after we got through this segment, I was going to ask you, like, cause some, some people are like, don't buy a house right now. Mm-hmm. Some people saying buy a house right now. <laughs> so, talk, you know, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, I'll Pardon say me. this. When you're renting that money is going into another person's pocket, right? Mm. And you can never benefit from that. Mm. But if you're buying, I don't care if the interest rate is 15%. Mm -hmm. Even that house is going to build equity. Mm -hmm. Houses don't depreciate like cars. Yeah. I buy a car. You you don't care if people buy cars with a 25% interest rate. Mm, that's terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But they still buy them. Right. For real though. Because they don't know. Cars depreciate. Mm-hmm. Houses appreciate. Mm-hmm. So say, for instance, you buy a house now with a 7% interest rate. Two years later, you might have equity in the amount of $60,000. Mm. With that equity, you can uh, do a refinance. And possibly get a lower rate if low if if rates are at three percent, you get a lower rate, so your payment gets lower. Plus, you can either get that fifty, sixty thousand dollars out in your pocket. Mm. You can start a business. Yeah. Okay. You can go on vacation if you want to. We Talk don't care heavy. what you do with it. Yeah. This is but stuff it's that people yours. need right here. Right. Yeah. This is yeah. this is what you have invested, but in renting, you can't do that. Mm. Um, and they have the power to do anything with your property. They can just say, "Oh, we're gonna sell." Or, oh, you need to move out because we want to renovate. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, we just want to raise your rent. You can't do that. You can't paint the walls. You can't do nothing. (laughs) It's theirs. It's not yours. Um, So it's an investment worth making. Um, So that's that's important to know. You got to invest in yourself. And then think about the future. You don't know when you're going to leave this earth. Mm Mm-hmm. What will you have left to leave for your kids if you've written all of your life? Mm. What will you have left for your grandkids? They have insurance now you can put on your house or put on yourself that'll pay your house off when you die. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. So when my when my grandfather passed away, that's what happened. That's how I learned about it. See, yeah. you gotta, oh, and, okay. and a lot of people... If you become educated and you become knowledgeable, then it passes down yeah, from generation. Right, right, yeah, yeah. So then your kids know. They be like, right. oh, well, this. so home ownership started. I'm not a first generation homeowner. Mm. You know? So you you have to kill that cycle for not just yourself, but for the generations behind you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's very important. Very important. Um, you know, cause I, I want to ask you, you know, how important it is for, it's important for everybody, but how is it important for us, you know, black people to, to be homeowners, um, yeah. to be able to pass, you know, property down, mm-hmm. um, to, uh, to, uh, to the next generation, you know, talk about how important that is. And also, you know, talk about, you know, what does a person need to do when they ready to come see you? Yeah. So first I'll just say, look at downtown. Mm-hmm. Oh Yeah. That's not us. Nah. It looked okay. good, though. <laughs> it looked good. It's nice. I ain't hating. Oh, yeah. But it's not us. Yeah. So as long as we can remember back in history, we didn't have anything. We came here on borrowed land. Mm-hmm. We were stolen from our land. Mm. So we came here not owning anything but our skin. Mm-hmm. So now we come here and we're taught to work for somebody else. Mm-hmm. To wait on their paycheck, mm-hmm. 
So it's a control thing. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Wait on their paycheck. It's all by design. Live in their houses. It's theirs. Mm-hmm. It's control. Oh, yeah. Live on their land, their property, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and, and the one the people who are homeowners, what they're wanting to do is drive them out by gentrification. Mm. There you go. Mm. We can't allow that. We can't. We can't allow that. So, oh, yeah. it is important for us to stand up and recreate our identity. Mm. We not borrowers, we lenders. Right, 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 you know right. Oh, yeah, definitely. As, yeah. As, I got a this that brings me to a, a question I wanted to ask you. Um, so do you think it's better to once you get in position to run off to the hills and buy you a nice house or build in your community? Both. Mm. <laughs> both. Because nobody I mean both. Talk to I us say, now. I'll say both. Because that's a lot of debate going on about that too. I as would well. say both. It's because why can't that be our community? Mm. Exactly. Who's to say that's not our community? Mm. They've made it that way to where we feel ostracized like we don't deserve to be there. Mm. Preach. But we deserve <laughs> to be there just like anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said recreate mm. our identity, recreate the norm. But what we should do, though, in these underprivileged neighborhoods is build things up. Like right now in Sumter, we don't have nowhere for the kids to go after school. You go in big cities, Mm -hmm. they got cyber cafes. Mm. They got different things for people to do. It's not enough constructive things to do. These Mm. community centers that they built, they're not doing anything. Mm, I didn't know they're you were taking it there. I didn't know you were taking they, it there. They're, they're <laughs> renting venues out. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a venue. It's a uh, what do you call it? It's an event space. <laughs> Basically. But there are no special program, not yeah. enough yeah. programs for the young people. We need to build up these fix up those old houses on on you know in the hoods and mm-hmm. things like that and do community improvement. I wish I could, and one day I will. Oh yeah, I'm you know? I'm very interested I'm in that as well. So that's why I was happy that you know you came. Yeah. You know we can. You know we we always knew each other, but now we you know it's, it's a networking connect on a new level and uh move forward and, to do and things that are gonna power us. The government, and I'm not gonna go Democrat or Republican because at this point I'm confused. <laughs> I just know what I believe. Yeah, right, right. You right. know, um, I feel like sometimes we are giving people stuff for nothing, mm. and it's crippling people. Mm, so if definitely. I'm getting this and I don't have to go out yeah. and really work or go out yeah. and do anything and I can just live this way or that way and they still going to pay my rent. Yeah. They still going to pay my utilities. Yeah. They still going to pay for my child to go to daycare. What incentive do you have to come up? Yeah. But I think all that's by design though. Yeah. You know, they want to mm-hmm. keep. Oh, absolutely. You know, us uh, separated. We'll keep y'all, we'll keep you guys down there. Absolutely. And, you know. It's just a mindset we'll give you, thing. Yeah, so I think we got to. They done brainwashed so many yeah, of us. Mindset yeah. is the most important thing we can have because I tell people all the time, nobody's coming. If you're not going to help yourself, you're going to be in the same condition you were year after year. If you're waiting for the government you waiting for this person, that person. Nobody is coming. Yep. You got to make you a plan and want better. So, And if you need help <sighs> with that plan, then ask. But nobody yeah. is going to just do it for you. Nah. Um, But there, there are some people who are more than willing to assist you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no problem getting a leg up. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta stand up first. Exactly. Exactly. You can't just sit yeah, down. Yeah. You know, I, you gotta I, stand I, up first. Um, I always say it's a great singer. I can't remember his name right now, but he got a song. He says, "I cannot help a man that's laying on the ground." Bobby Womack. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harry that's Hippie. A good one. Harry Hippie. I listen that's to that old school now. Yeah. <laughs> and he, that's a good he said one. he can't help a man that's laying on the ground. You got to get up first. Oh yeah. Yeah. So my people, our people, we got to get up. You know, let's get up. Let's get 2023 up. 2023 is on the way. Oh, yeah, we trying to be homeowners. Yes. We trying to be business owners. Yes. You know, all that good stuff. So. So right now, uh, you know, let's talk a little talk real quick. How many deals you said you've been a part of and closed so far in this thing? You know, you you, you in the you early in the game, yeah. but I see you moving around. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'll say a few. Mm-hmm. Um, the the only difficulty right now is that um, with the interest rates, right? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people 
that were making a certain amount of money that, you know, they would be approved for a certain amount before Mm -hmm. they can't be approved necessarily for that amount now because Mm. the interest rates are so Ah, high. So it gives them a higher debt to income ratio. So it affects the affordability of the home because, you know, the higher the interest rate, the higher the house payment. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And we just want to make sure you can afford to to pay for your home. We don't yeah. want you to get in the house and you go into foreclosure. We don't want that. Right. Although there are resources to prevent that. I mm-hmm. mean, there's programs out there that'll pay your mortgage for 12 months. Mm. Yeah. That's, this is stuff that's people the, need to know about. Yeah, that's right. the benefit over renting as well. Right, right, right. Um, But, you know, it's still a lot of opportunity out here. I think a lot of people are afraid. But here, here's the thing. For me, if you have a 580 credit score, 580, that's not mm. high at all. You're going where I was going. I was going to ask you, you know, what, what what's the requirement yeah. to get started, you if, know? If you have a 580 credit score, I can help you if you can pay your down payment. Mm. So the down payment with a 580 credit score is a three is 3.5% mm. of the purchase price. That ain't too all bad, right. though. Yeah. Not too bad, depending on the... Yeah, yeah depending on what you yeah, want. You yeah, know, yeah. You know, I couldn't imagine somebody with 580 trying to get nothing too crazy. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if you have a 620 or higher, mm. we can get you in a house with no down payment. Mm. Mm. Y'all, hear, y'all hear the lady, right? Yeah. We yeah. bring we bringing, we bringing people <laughs> on with big motion that know what they're talking about. Yeah. We love all our guests, but just people like this for me is very important because ownership... It's very important. Oh, we yeah. need to get to it. I'm working on that myself. Ben, Mikey, people in our family. So we trying to really showcase and bring this to the yeah. people because I know you do a lot of content and stuff like that, but I feel like a lot of information is hidden. It's yeah. just, and I think that's why we got our, our, our platform here. We want to bring people on to show positive people yes. in the community yes. that's doing things that can help the community and just showcase their talents and gifts in, in their businesses. So I'm yeah. thankful that you're here today. Absolutely. And so, 580, 3% down payment. 3.5%. 3. 3. 5. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, 620, no down payment. Absolutely. Mm, if you right. qualify for that program, we just got to find you a house that keeps you under 45 to 50% debt to income ratio, which mm. isn't bad. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You know, so, but what I will say is this also, if you have a 640, you can also live in a rural area and have lower income mm. it's called a usda loan and still have no down payment. Mm. um if you a va like mm. people who've been in the military yeah man i've seen down to like 570 mm. you know 580 you know it's easier with the va loan yeah i, oh, I yeah. mean so for the veterans out there Let's, Veterans let's Day work. is tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, Veterans Day is tomorrow. Yes. We thank you all for all your service Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. Um, go ahead. Yeah, we don't have any lender fees. Um, mm. we do our best to help our veterans get the best rates and deals as possible. Right. Um, you know, we want to make sure that they're accommodated for yeah. their service, what they do for our country. Every day keep us safe. You know? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, they definitely. keep this country running. So, um, I I I love what I do. I'll tell anybody if you have a side hustle. That's why I was going there. You you doing an interview for me? Let's go. Yeah, Yeah, no, no, yeah. If you got a side hustle, Mm -hmm. you can use that side hustle to fund your home. You just gotta file taxes, but get with a good tax professional. I do taxes. My girl Jessica Elise. Mm, um, Big shout, Jessica Elise. Racks up taxes. You know what's up? What's up? Big shout, Jessica. Yeah, oh, she, yeah, she does uh, credit repair. Amazing mm, uh, uh, yeah. work she does. She's very knowledgeable, very helpful, such a genuine person. Mm-hmm. Um, and she does taxes. So, yeah. I mean, you know, hope we'll be collabing together um, this tax season. I'll yeah. actually be in the office with her doing pre-approvals as wow. she does taxes on some days. So, how, so we got to talk about that. Yeah. Um, when does that start? And how can they get in touch with you guys? Where are you going to be at? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in January, that'll mm-hmm. start. Um, hopefully, we'll be. Uh, she'll be in this plaza. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what you know. She's working towards. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the more information will come about okay, that later. Okay, gotcha. we, we'll, we'll stay tuned for that. Yeah. Yeah. But some days I'll be in there with her. Um, you know, if you want to file your taxes, we'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Get your mm. taxes filed. You can come to me. We get you approved for a house. 
And y'all you know? doing great things. Yeah. For real though. Yeah. That's that's that, man, that's great right there, man. And if you need credit repair, then there she is. Yeah. Right there. We I mean but that's the dream team. How you, you gotta do have it? a yeah. system. We need yeah. a system. We need yes. a system. Okay, so outside of that, if you're just a you you're an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. you know, you got an LLC, uh Whatever it is, I'm mm-hmm. see, me. I DJ. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. I got mm-hmm. several other businesses as well. So just entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. How do we prepare? We say, hey, I'm, I'm I want to buy a house. Do your taxes. Mm-hmm. If you wanna if you wanna buy a house, you do your taxes. Um, and we actually do bank statement loans. Mm. Mm. So, but you got to have capital because yeah. you have to pay that down payment on yeah. the bank statement loans. We don't do down payment assistance. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you would have to bring your own down payment, which is normally a little bit higher, mm-hmm. probably like 10, 15%. Mm. But if you've been following your taxes, you don't have to do a bank statement loan. Right. You can still get that same down payment assistance as somebody who was working a W two job. Oh, okay. If you filed your taxes for the past three years, mm. and if you didn't file them for the past three years, come get them done, mm-hmm. and then get you a house. Oh yeah. You oh, can yeah. always <laughs> file your back taxes. Right. Right. You right. Know what I'm from, saying? from 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 what's where we going at? Racks up taxes. Racks up taxes. Racks up taxes. Yeah. Jane oh, Ray's on the way, y'all. So. Entrepreneurs out there that don't know, we're giving y'all the game. I'm learning stuff for myself as well right now. Yeah. You can be a homeowner mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So where can everybody find you on social media? Yeah. Um, tap in with you. I know you post you post you do a lot of posting. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, I try to stay relevant. A lot of that's, people don't do that. They got a business, but they just Yeah, yeah. They don't do it. No, no, no. <laughs> I try to stay in your face. Cause yeah. even if you don't get engaged with me one day mm-hmm. when you need my services, you're gonna see me. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be like, I need her. Yeah, exactly, today. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So where they can yeah. where they can find you at? So on Facebook, I am Angelica Cannon. I, I'm on Instagram too, but I, I'm really not that active on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But Angelica Cannon on Facebook, mm-hmm. um, and Taylor Made Images oh, on yeah. Facebook oh, as yeah, well. Definitely, definitely. Um, and so I am also on 28 North Main Street, across from Good Old Gin Gin. Mm, good Old Gin Gin. Services. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So big shout my man Carby. Big shout my man Chris from Gin Gins. Big yes. shout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um. You know, you can go to my Facebook page or, um, you know, you can come to Resource Financial Services and find me there. Okay. Um, all of my contact information is on Facebook. Um, mm-hmm. You know, my phone numbers, everything. Um, you can you can reach me. I also have a link um, to an application um, as well um, that can be found on my social media page. I actually have a website that you can just click and apply for a home loan right there. Mm. And then uh, I'll give you a call soon after and we can get through it. Oh, yeah. So y'all y'all know what time it is, man. Big Motion Podcast, small business spotlight segment. We got Miss Angelica in the building right now. And like I said, we, we thank you so much for coming on the show. Like I said, we wanted people to know they can be homeowners. Mm-hmm. You know, whether you got a job, whether you got a side hustle, whether you're a full time entrepreneur, and we, we love the beautiful things you're doing in the city. It's very, very, very important, y'all. So, anybody that's watching this, you make sure you contact this young lady um, and get ready. You know, get ready. You want to be a homeowner, which you should want to be, get ready. Go ahead and contact her on Facebook. She, and if you're in something to, something to South Carolina, you know, hit to the local area. She's right in front of Jin Jin, y'all. What's the name of the place again? Resource Financial Services. And I can help you if you're in Alabama, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Oh, South talk that Carolina, talk. No matter Georgia. the state. No matter the state. She state to state yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. Isn't it? Yeah, we appreciate yeah. you coming by. Absolutely. Um, you know, anytime you got some news, anything you want to inform the people of, um, you're welcome to come back. Because, you know, we're, awesome. we're a growing podcast right yeah. now, growing platform. And like you sure. said, you know, when. People watch our stuff and they go back watch the older stuff. So yeah. all this stuff is gonna live on the internet forever. Absolutely. And this this is important information that our people need to know. You know, it's everything is not as complicated as people may think it is. Yeah, it's not. Especially when you got somebody that's a professional and willing to assist you and show you the way. Mm-hmm. So thank you again for coming through. You're welcome to come back anytime, anytime. You got any shout outs, thank yous, anything you wanna to say to the people? I just want to shout out uh, my husband, my children, my family, my mom, um, just everybody who uh, supports 
something high class of oh five. Oh yeah, you know that, you know that, you know that. <laughs> yeah, my church, Victory Church of Sumter, and the whole right. Sumter County, man. I love you. Oh yeah, yeah, we love y'all. We thank you for coming out. Like I said, great woman for the community. Oh yeah, and, and you know we appreciate you being a great example. Uh, you know, a wife, a mother, you know, entrepreneur, business owner, you know, person of business in the corporate world. I mean, it, it's great. People need to look at you, yeah. people like you as a light to, you know, show them the way, and you know, you know, get motivation and be inspired. That's definitely what motivation. I do myself. So my name is Bezo, Bezo, 803, all that social media. I got my co-host with me right now. Ben Mikey, man. Effect on the camera back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, and we out, y'all. Big Motion Podcast. Peace. Small Business Spotlight. <laughs> we gone. <laughs>